There's so much to love about Maine. The people, the places, the food. And we're here to share it all with you. Each week, our team brings you the very best of vacation land. This is Maine Life. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. Waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. After many miles. I love Wallingford Square for so many reasons, from Italian to Indian cuisine to pub style fare to Asian fusion. It's all here, including craft cocktails and a gastro pub and all these other great shops and charcuterie, and the list goes on and on. So, what's there not to like? <laughs> I just ripped my pants and I'm bleeding. Maine continues to surprise and inspire me. After living and working in this beautiful state my entire life, I continue to discover new places and meet a lot of hardworking and interesting people. Just one of the reasons I love supporting Maine Life. Each week, it takes us all somewhere new and exciting. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank. Come into any of our locations and experience the difference. But until then, we hope you enjoy this episode of Maine Life. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Kittery, Maine, the oldest incorporated town in our state and home to the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. This quaint town is made up of several different neighborhoods and today we explore one of them. Wallingford Square is very walkable and offers local shops, a true sense of community, and of course, amazing food. We are here in Wallingford Square in Kittery Foreside and we stopped by once before without Vanessa and everybody emailed me saying, why didn't you come to Lil's? Well, that's because she wouldn't let me go without her. So here we are. Here we are. <laughs> And here's the cruffin. And everything else that we have. And by the way, we will share, but we will eat all of it. Yes. It will not go to waste. And this is a nice light breakfast before we head over to the Kittery Community Center for some yoga lotties and our pickleball rematch. I won last time, right? <laughs> no, you didn't. Anyway, thanks for joining us and uh, cheers to a great episode. Dig in. I believe that it's always been called Wallingford Square and we just call this the Wallingford Square building because the whole building is like 7 to 11 Wallingford Square. This used to be a bank. Um, we have the vault over there. You could spend your entire day here. You could start here at Lil's and having breakfast and coffee. There's shopping, the art museum, there's the library. You could have appetizers and dinner and cocktails and it's really a great spot and very walkable. I love coming here. The staff are always friendly and there's a lot of people from the community. Winter is really nice because places in Kittery, they're open all year long and you can get to know people more. People are a little more into sitting and chatting. This is a nice place to be inside and warm and it's just great to have a place like Lil's here now. I've always had a passion for the food business. My grandmother actually had a very small cafe in Winterport, Maine. Um, I remember being in her kitchen when I was about five years old, helping her make donuts. So I've always had a passion for food and cooking and always thought, well, maybe someday I'll own my own restaurant. So probably our most famous item that we're known for is our cruller. Um, we do usually do four different flavors a month. We always have classics and cinnamon sugar. We probably, on the average, sell about probably 500 of those a day. And we have an incredible bread program and croissants and all kinds of great pastries. So we know that you girls have a, a very busy day ahead of you and hopefully a, a great pickleball match later. Um, so we're going to start your day fueling you up with a selection of pastries. We have a lox bagel for you, some avocado toast, some crullers, some beverages for you. And we really hope that you enjoy all of it. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Thank you, Deb. Oh my gosh. Less talk, more eating. You've got to be kidding me. I love Wallingford Square for so many reasons. First of all, you literally have so many different types of cuisine within a square block. From Italian to fine dining, to dive bars, to Indian cuisine, to pub style fare, 
to Asian fusion. It's all here, including craft cocktails and a gastro pub and all these other great shops and charcuterie and cheese. And the list goes on and on. So, I mean, what's there not to like? Cheers. You didn't even cheers me again. <laughs> you are in the heart of Kittery. This was a school. Uh, it was converted into the community center we opened in May of 2012. <laughs> I was a field hockey champion. I didn't play basketball. You've seen the gym, we've got the theater, we have a kitchen, function room, rental rooms, like this is a one-stop shop for the town. Whatever we can give the community within our bounds and reasons, we try to. <laughs> we have hula hoop classes, our kids' classes, fitness classes, you know, our meals, our after-school program, we've got a preschool here, like this is a non-stop busy place to be. This is a very tight-knit community which really bonds together. Every single aspect of our town works together to give the citizens the best that we can. I feel pretty proud that we have a really good team that works here on behalf of the town. You're on the shorter track. This community is different from what I grew up with because I'm from Philadelphia where everybody has an edge. <laughs> and people are so nice and giving up here, which threw me at first, because I was almost just like, all right, what's their angle? <laughs> but I found out it's genuine. The reason I came here in the first place was to make a difference and an impact on a daily basis, even if it's just in a little way, I can make an impact. And then occasionally there's some days where it's even greater. out of breath, but uh, I won, as you just saw, and now pickleball, she might forget that I played tennis in college 100 years ago, but still, she's going down. I didn't lose, I was... Well, your I, hula hoop hit the ground first. My hula hoop hit the ground first because I want to get straight to the pickleball match. <laughs> That's where the action is. I'm going Vanessa. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> she looks more competitive. She looks more competitive than me. <laughs> no mercy. It's one serving zero. One serving zero. <laughs> Two serving zero. This is fun. This is where I come back. That's right. Yeah. Oh, good That's one. right. That's right. <laughs> Do you see that Serena Williams stuff? You see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just ripped my pants and I'm bleeding. Oh, she is competitive. I'll give her that. I hate this. It's ridiculous. This is embarrassing. Match point. Congratulations. You know, you will be, until this happens again, the pickleball champion Woo! of Maine life. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>
At Verlin City, we give drivers a worry-free guarantee on service. That means no surprises when your vehicle needs maintenance. And with our complete vehicle care, every tire purchased is expertly installed by our ASE certified technicians and includes free tire rotations for the life of the tire. And with two years of complimentary road hazard coverage, you'll have peace of mind for miles down the road. That's our worry-free guarantee. Berlin City. We are at the Wallingford Dram and Anju Noodle Bar where you'll be going for lunch next. Wallingford Dram is a craft focused cocktail bar. I'm excited for you guys to come try it. Anju opened in 2014. We are an Asian inspired restaurant. It was inspired by food that I wanted to eat all the time. It's my favorite style of food. I couldn't really find it around here. So the solution was to open a restaurant with food that I love. Vibe is open, friendly, open kitchen, just full transparency. You know, we are preparing the food right in front of you. We like to interact with the guests who are sitting at the bar. So it's just a big, open, friendly space. Well, it is a busy day here for lunch at Anju. Bree, thanks for having us. No problem. Well, what do we got? Coming? We have a little bit of everything. We'll start with the classic pork bun. It's a nice, delicious, airy sandwich to be shared with friends. Then we've got our new bulgogi wings, our famous blue cheese. We have our tahini crusted cauliflower, which is a crowd favorite. Duck yakisoba, garnished with beautiful ginger. And then we have our shio ramen with classic chasu pork belly, um, an ajitama egg, and everything delicious in there. Thank awesome. you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. We will. <laughs> and in case you want a mocktail here, they can their own Shirley Temples and of course, other alcoholic beverages. This is my favorite. Uh, all right, so do you use Duck the yaki chopsticks? soba. I'm not good at using chopsticks, but I'll right, try let's it. Try. Oh, nice. Really? So good. Oh. Okay, that's your one bite. Mm. Oh, wow. now. So good. So after we um, enjoy all of this, we're gonna go gonna... check in at the Water Street Inn. Awesome. Just around the corner. After an incredible and flavorful lunch, we now head to the Water Street Inn, a cozy and comfortable historic property in walking distance to Wallingford Square, but still tucked away so you feel just enough removed, yet so close. Hello and welcome to the Water Street Inn. We're happy to have you here. Back in the 1800s, it was a home to a very prominent family from Kittery, uh, the Trefethins. We've kept a lot of the original charm of the building with a kind of Victorian style design. So a lot of our features in our bathrooms, brass, Victorian kind of faucets. We have some creative wallpaper that kind of speaks to that as well. But we're thrilled to be able to offer this here with our modern take on it. Here at the Water Street Inn, we have eight rooms, combination of kings and queens. We also have a king suite, which offers a full kitchen. And then we also have a double queen, which offers two levels to the queen, so you can have a little bit more privacy rather than two beds right next to each other. I love my job because I get to show everybody who comes to this area how cool it is, especially as someone who came back to this area and someone who appreciates all of the art and all the history and all the things that are happening that are new and exciting, whether it be events, whether it be new music venues, whether it be new restaurants and shops. It is nice to show people that and when they come back and they have those experiences and they thank us for showing them and they get a little taste of what's special about Maine here, that really brings it all together and I think that's what our staff and myself especially really appreciates in this line of work. Thank you to Cameron for your warm hospitality, but now it is time to go back into town. Let's go have happy hour at the Wallingford Dram, followed by some beautiful, authentic Indian cuisine at Tulsi. We're so excited. Let's go. For over 153 years, Kennebec Savings Bank has been a community bank for everyone. Whether it's providing convenient account access, quick and easy loan process, or supporting the community, our goal is to create lasting relationships rooted in trust and respect. It's always been about integrity and doing what's right for the customer and our communities. 
I'm Andrew Silsby, and I invite you to come into a Kennebec Savings Bank location and experience the difference. Fresh snow, crisp air, energizing, invigorating, time together. Cheering, <laughs> laughter, joy. Plan your trip at visitmaine.com. Hi everyone, welcome to Mugalian Rugs here in East Bayside, Portland, Maine. We specialize in handmade rugs from all over the world, whether it be in-stock rugs that we have in the store, or if you want to sit with us and do custom rugs with custom colors and shapes and sizes, we provide that as well. When you walk in the doors here, you'll be greeted with the best customer service that we've been providing locally for 44 years. So thank you everyone for shopping local, and we hope to see you here at Mugalian Rugs sometime soon. At Poland Spring, we've called Maine home since 1845 and are proud to be part of the community. Over the past two decades, investing more than $12 million in the place that we call home. Poland Spring, 100% natural spring water. At Honda, hybrid is more than fuel efficiency. It means sporty and fun to drive and making car and drivers 10 best list for the 37th time. The Accord Hybrid. Welcome, Aaron Vanessa, back for happy hour at the Wallingford Dram. Uh, I hope you enjoy our drinks. We have a really intimate setting. We focus on ingredients. We focus on balanced cocktails. Creativity is at the core of our program. It's what's what we do. We create a thing, we sort of pour our heart into it, our vulnerability, and then we get to see people enjoy it. And it's, you know, it just makes us happy. I'm excited for Jeff to come out and make you guys some drink. Jeff Strafford's our bar manager. He'll be shepherding you through some specifics of our program, showing you some drinks that you'll get to taste and enjoy. All right, we're thirsty, my friend Jeff. What's going on? First up's gonna be the antiquado. So a Repsado tequila, orange infused agave, bitters, a little orange twist, and a tobacco spritz over the top. We break down old, no longer smokable Cuban cigars in Everclear. You get the smell of the cigar, but it's not like drinking a cigar. And now for the Jupiter Jazz. So this is a jalapeno-infused mezcal, Amaro Montenegro, Orgeat, passion fruit, and lemon drink that does have a Sichuan peppercorn half rim, so a little kind of numbing on the oh. lips and tongue. So it's a heads up, but it's only a half rim, so you can go with or without. Perfect. Oh, okay. Good choice. Yum. So I've lived in this area for most of my life. I've worked here for a little over two years. I love it just because there's the community here. On the weekends, we kind of become the designated waiting room for a lot of the restaurants in the area, and it's fantastic. When the snow's falling, it feels like you're in a movie coming in here. Because like, we want it to be warm, we want it to be inviting. Just so much fun. Well, my dear, this winter marks five years that we've known each other, and we've been traveling the state all over. My second longest relationship <laughs> ever. <laughs> and that's the wood anniversary. Yes, from... explain this to us. Okay, so if you're married, like the first year is what, paper? Second oh, year like is diamonds glass. Yeah, 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 we're not even close to diamonds yet. <laughs> but we are at wood. This is actually the nicest gift you're ever gonna get from me. <laughs> this is Burl Wood from the Blue Hill Peninsula, Maine Timber Arts and Bagaduce Wood Turning, my friends Jason and Christina. And you grind oh, my gears. Beautiful. This is sort of symbolic. But it is a pepper mill because your mother has been saying you never make any meals for her, and I thought this will get you on your way. So there you go. You know what? I think it's a nice piece of art. It's for beautiful. My... <laughs> it is beautiful. And now, where's my gift? So what is this? You have been such a good auntie oh. to Brooks. Oh. Auntie Nessa, he calls her, and he's always expecting a cookie when he sees her. <laughs> and so I just thought this was maybe appropriate. What's this? It's a wood, his favorite wooden train car set. He wanted to give that to you. Oh, that's cute. Well, good. Well, we'll play the next time I'm over. And the next then, time we have a slumber party. That's very cute. Thank you. And since I know you so well, I thought I'd get you a <laughs> wood furred <laughs> I almost did something similar. That's really crazy. So we think a lot alike. Great minds think alike. Well, I'll take that as the wood gift. Thank you so choo -choo. much. 
to the next adventure, my friend. Cheers, Cheers to five years. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Welcome to Tulsi, our Indian restaurant in Kiri. We will be talking about the food and dishes and little story about us, how we started, and we'll have a wonderful, exciting evening. I started, I worked in India, and after that, I went to cruise line and worked for three years. Traveled through the Caribbean, from California to all the way to Panama Canal and many other places then went to Bermuda for a year. I had a good opportunity over there. But then my whole thing was, my head chef was cooking and he was from Germany and he had a long, tall hat. And I said to myself, I want that hat. And how would I get that? Is to go back to school and be a chef from being a cook. So I end up here in Dover, New Hampshire, in a um, school named McIntosh College. While I was cooking here, I got so inspired by local people and I stayed. I said to myself, you know, I don't have to be in Manhattan to be successful, to bring what, we, what, what I grew up with in India, but I can do it in, in a small town, Kidri. And that I took as a challenge, but also more, I felt like this is where I belong. My whole attitude in the restaurant business is, I call myself people pleaser. Any guest who walks into the door today, I will give my 100% to make them happy, regardless of who they are or how much money they will be spending. And I still have that same enthusiasm and same excitement when I was 14 years old, that, you know, how my grandmother used to cook, how my sister used to cook. So it, it's exciting for me to represent not just the whole India, it's just who I am and where I grew up from. If you think about Indian food, it's the only cuisine that you can take a one vegetable and you can cook five to 10 different ways in a matter of a few minutes, just because of you're changing the combination of spice blend. So in Indian cuisine, when you don't like one thing, you can exclude that and still make amazing dish out of it. And that's the beauty of Indian cuisine. Let's talk about what we will be serving you. The salmon is amazing. It's, a th it's called tandoori salmon and it's all marinated in a mustard and a ground spices, and then it's cooked in a tandoor oven, which is the clay oven. And then, you know, everyone's favorite dish that we have to have and we must have is chicken tikka masala. Then also we have a mussel, which is, if you think about main mussel is so famous, we have to have a mussel in the menu. And also we have kebabs, tandoori chicken, and then palak paneer, which is a fresh sauteed spinach with homemade cheese, paneer, and that we will be serving tonight too. If you're traveling to India, this is what you will be getting from different parts of India. We're honored to taste In Kittery, Maine. Right here in Kittery, Maine. Thank you, Chef. Yes. You're welcome. Art and heart on a plate. I love it. We've been talking about this episode for over two years, and we just touched the surface. I mean, there's so many there's other so amazing much, places yes. to eat, drink, shop and see, so. And all of these business owners support one another, and that is really what this um, neighborhood is about. I really, really love that about Kittery. And there's so something for everybody. So yeah. come on down this winter, staycation. It's a wrap, I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thank winter, everybody. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, chef. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Main Life. To follow all of our amazing adventures, you can check out our Instagram, Main Life TV, or at Arano Valley, our Facebook page, Main Life Media. You can get all of our shows for free on YouTube and the New Center Main app. And become a Main Life member. Sign up by going to our website, mainlifemedia.com, for exclusive content, some great deals, and so much more. Happy adventuring, everybody. We'll see you next week. Not even close. Stop. No. Oh, Vanessa, you can't. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like literally not listening to you anymore because I'm just eating. So delicious. You're in the right industry. So delicious. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still rolling? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, I mean. Vanessa's seriously. relationship with food is healthy. Okay. Do I have stuff in my teeth? No. You didn't even look. Oh. I didn't. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Never mind.